Hey everybody, it's John Holdle at CloudPoint Geographics. I just wanted to do a quick um, tutorial here on one of the parcel fabric buttons. Here we have this uh, mean points and you might be wondering when is a good time to use this tool and how can it be used. Well I've got a good example here I wanted to show you. Um, so what I've got here is just a cul-de-sac, some right-of-way and, and a lot and a tax parcel there and I can see I've got two close points here. Now these actually I'm going to hover over and selecting these and I hold down the V key which is a shortcut to see the vertices and I can see my vertices uh, in my right of way. There's one here and it's the one on the right and as you see um, I'm holding my cursor over the right of way it shows me those vertices. Then if I move it over to the lot and hold down the V key it's showing me that the vertices for the lot in this particular case the one on the left belongs to the lot. The one on the right belongs to the right-of-way. In this case they should be matching. I want those to be matching parcel fabric points. So in this case I am going to use the mean points button here, the tool, and I'm just simply going to drag a box around those mean points and we'll let this process for a minute here. And there we go. After we let it process now we're left with a single fabric point which is a part of the road right-of-way as well as the lot and the tax parcel over here. Uh, what it did was uh, rather than having to open up the parcel construction dialog box or unjoin and rejoin each of these parcels, I was able to use the mean points tool and uh, it simply takes an average of those two points and places it uh, right in between those. So thanks for watching today and best of luck on your continued parcel fabric editing. Thank you.